Hi, I want to walk you through the steps of importing existing course content into a new course shell. This can be really useful at the beginning of a new year, new quarter, new semester, or any other time that you want to create a new course. You can do this by creating your own manually created courses or sandboxes that you can use to organize and plan out your course, or you can import content into a new PowerSchool created course. I'm going to show you how to do it in a manually created or sandbox course today. Let's get started. You can see I'm on the dashboard page here in my global navigation, and I'm going to find the start a new course button. I can do the same thing from the courses, all courses page. I'm going to call this one practice. Once I've chosen the name I want, I'll click create course. Once I'm in my course, it's going to put me in on the home page. I'm going to look for the button that says import existing content. This is going to bring me to the import content page. In content type, I want to select copy a Canvas course. Once I've changed it to copy a Canvas course, I can select a course that I've previously taught, or I can search for a course in the course name section. I want to ensure that the checkbox is ticked for include completed courses, especially if it's courses that I'm taught last year or the year before that I want to bring the content into a new course from. Once I've selected the course that I want to use, I'm going to choose whether or not I want the whole course or all content to come, or if I just want specific content. So specific content would be if I only wanted to bring in one or two modules or specific items from a course. I'm going to choose all content because I want the whole course to come over so that I don't have to recreate it. Finally, I can change some of the options. I can have Canvas shift the dates of the course for me so that I can save myself a little bit of work. So I can come down here. It's telling me that this course began on September 4th, 2020. I can change that date to the start date this year. That way it will automatically make changes based on those dates in the course. If I don't want to have Canvas set the due dates for me, I can also choose remove dates and Canvas will take out all of the dates in the course so that I can set them manually on my own. When I'm finished with this, I'll click import and it will start to queue the job. Based on the size of the course and the size of the files in it, it might take 15 or 20 minutes, but you can navigate away and work on other things while you wait on it to import. Once the job's finished, I can go into my course and all of the content from my previously taught course will be right there. I hope importing content helps get you off to a great start in Canvas.